thoughts on uh, why Ivy First Park all, and I, Adidas I, I, didn't work? I feel like this is cap. A mutual split. Who breaks up with Beyonce? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like that don't happen. Like you seen the one guy from her prom that back picture. in the day, oh, yeah. dude. Like he still like he gotta <laughs> kick himself every day. What up, y'all? And welcome back to another episode of Rotation Round Table. I'm Speedy Mormon, and, and as always, I'm joined by a very esteemed cast. We have Nyla, Gabe, Rob Markman. But we also have a very special guest, our first ever guest of oh, the, the show. First. You are the hey. first guest we've ever had on the show. Hey, it's lit. Thank you for christening the set for us. Uh, but Diamond Cuts is here. How are you? I'm good. How are y'all? Big Glad Philly. To have you. Yes. Yeah, you very happy to have you here. Month. Congrats on the show. Amazing. Yeah. Yep, and honestly, I think Nyla was getting lonely because <laughs> not only being the only woman on this show, but also being the only person not from New York. Right. <laughs> I, I, I would definitely say that. I was raised with sharks, though. So y'all are... Respectfully. Y'all are... Like, okay. I can do she, this. she can handle it. <laughs> yeah. I got, I got her anyway. But I know so. Diamond got my back. Thank you. I, <laughs> also, I hear so many New York accents. It's going to be refreshing to hear a Philly accent. Yeah. So. Yeah. We, we got, got to get that New York accent out of here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. What, what's, the, what's, the, what's the word? Is it drawling? Oh, oh draw, is, you could say drawling or you could say drawn. Like, drawn. Yeah. I want to sound like you. It's one past drawn. tense and one like... Yeah. Like, okay. if you're doing something right... Yo, you drawling right now. But if you already did it... like. Yo, you was drawn. Like, drawn. you was really drawn. Just, right? if you can, just work drawn into the show at some point. I will. Just okay. drop that in I there. think Rob's going to start drawing a little later. Well, I, so. know, I already know Rob's going to draw, <laughs> so I got you. Rob had a big week last week. Yo. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm cool now, man. I took a shot of tequila. I'm trying to calm down this week. And right. you try, right. Yo, you trying to poison me, trying to put tequila yeah. in Look, I'm sorry. Hey, that that one that's tequila water. is that's water. That's, that's water. water. That's water. That's water. Hold on, hold on. That's water. It is water. It's water now. When I said, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yo, uh-uh. When it was tequila, it was like this much tequila. No, it wasn't. It was like, it was almost to the rim. Look. I smelt it. Rob and I were just trying to welcome you. It was you. a welcome. <laughs> Rob and I were just trying to welcome you. It's our tradition. Well, before we really jump into the show, I'm just wondering if you guys saw uh, Tyler, the creator's new videos for Dogtooth and Sorry Not Sorry. What'd y'all think? I did. I loved it. I, th I thought, this, particularly the Sorry Not Sorry video, I thought it was super creative with the different versions of Tyler throughout his career. Mm -hmm. What he was saying lyrically, like there was just so many poignant lines. Um, you know, him just like, yo, I'm, I'm a rapper, but my personal life is my personal life. Right. Like, you know, him at, talking about relationships, both male and female. And then the rapping was just great. You know what I'm saying? And then the video, the visual with him just kind of killing off his old self, like he killed off every version of his old self. Super dope, super creative. I really appreciate what Tyler is doing right now, man. Word. Yeah. Shout out to Tyler. Uh, sure. Also, a verse that we've been, it seems, waiting for for so long. Gabe, I'm coming to you with this, the Don't Play With It remix. Uh, Why'd you come to me? Well, because we've been <laughs> talking about it. I feel like we've been talking about this verse for so long. Right. Uh, yeah, Young Miami on there. Uh, Lotto on there. I think they all killed it. Like, I was really excited for this. You know, of course, I wish that Billy was also on it. But I think in terms of... Same. Um, how everything came out with the video too and it being so New York centric I feel like that was the one thing I was worried about was like is this going to feel like a New York video having Lotto and Young Miami in it but I think like aesthetic wise and kind of feeling overall it felt New York it didn't feel like oh Lola had to go and you know be like Lotto be like no they came to her world they came to New York and I think Young Miami and Lotto killed that you yeah. know and I think and I think Young Miami especially I was really impressed yeah. okay. I was really impressed Diamond for me it was Lotto Lotto really? she really? killed her yeah I mean Young Super. Miami did her thing mm. Lotto was I mean she blew it out the park all the time though anytime Lotto jumps on something I feel like she does an amazing job at it for sure yeah, right yeah. I think I've just been progressively becoming more impressed with Young Miami as time has gone on True. like how, you know, how she's grown as an artist she had a little bar I was trying to read into it, mm. but she was like, "Oh, is Young Miami, Young Miami, single and sedity." Like I that's the way you like Diddy, Diddy. That I was I like, "Oh, yeah, that, that was slick." Yeah, it was. That was, that, you know, I was like, "Oh, I give her props." And she was like, "No Whatever. shade with it, no shade with it." That's yeah, okay. Yeah. No, that was tough. Yeah, Especially yeah, on a New York yeah. record too. Yeah. It was like, yeah. "Okay, I see mm -hmm. what you did." You know there. what I like? I ain't gonna lie though. Some sometimes, like being from New York, and I know we get a lot of credit for a lot of stuff. We take a lot of credit mm -hmm. for a lot of stuff, but I feel like. Certain regions be trying to play us for like our staples, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? For like how we talk, like putting B at the end of a sentence, right. like we get made fun of <laughs> wearing Tim's, you know what I'm saying? Yankee the Yankee fit, <laughs> Yankee fit is. I love the way Lotto rep and took the Avrex jacket, which is a New York thing, mm -hmm. right? And, and put it into like a mini skirt and a little like it was just dope to see her flip on it, and it was dope to have 
other artists not from New York come through, but like like Gabe said, like just it feel like a New embrace. York record. Like yeah. embrace yeah. New York culture. Yeah. 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 What they Manolo Blahnik Tims on Mulatto Head. Oh, yeah, she had the Tims on there. Yeah. The Jimmy Choo Tims in it. They said the Tims got to represent. They got to pop right. up for the right. video, and they definitely did. Put some respect on our shit. They did. You know what they did. Put the memes aside. Actually, put some respect on it. But we don't get it twisted. We still wearing Yankee fitted and Tims. Okay. Some of y'all in the summertime too. I don't recommend it. But if I see you outside, I ain't nah, gonna question. Tim's in the summertime. Tim with shorts, okay. absolutely. With, with shorts, still, shorts? yeah, yeah. I absolutely. think it's Jaden. With Tim's on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's a little extra. But okay. like, who was the, like, 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 no, so who had Tim's on the beach? It was like it was a, just like a meme on Twitter. It was like, a meme. You, yeah. you yeah. saw that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna break down how it could happen. Like you might go to Coney Island. You know what I mean? Shout out Gorilla Nims. You might be on the boardwalk. You might hit a couple rides. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Whatever, go hit Gorilla Nims shop. Yep. And then just end up on the boardwalk and be like, yo, babe, let's take a stroll on the beach. And you got your Tim's on. And <laughs> boom, there's nothing wrong with it. it man. Yeah, yeah, man. You got to respect That's it. That's nothing like hearing nah. the waves crashing, <laughs> feeling the sand in between your Tim's. You and they're waterproof. Saying? You know what I'm saying? You the, 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 sand, the sand going into the Tim's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, right. Now you got sandy Tim's. <laughs> exactly. I'm not into that. But I'm also not really into men in sandals. So I don't know. All right. Yeah, okay. We're talking about Tim's. We're not talking about Tim's. Either way. Tim's, 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 Tim's like men in shoes not at the all. Not Tim's. Yeah. So why well, he just got to walk barefoot on the Coney Island yeah. boardwalk? First of all, that's treacherous. That's, yeah. I thought we were talking about on the beach. Yeah. On the beach, too. The, the boardwalk. I, I'm, no, talking I'm just about telling, the telling you how it could happen. Nobody plans to wear Tim's on the beach is what I'm saying. True. Right. That is true. But here's how it could happen. And I just gave you a scenario. And respectfully, in the wise words of Gorilla Nems, right? You got to wear your Tim's on the Coney Island sands because there's mad glass and shit in it. All right? So if you're walking barefoot, then, you know, God be with you. Yeah. God love that we started this with some beautiful... New York love, man. So right. shout out to Beautiful. us. Uh, but let's shout out get to into Philly as well. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 start. <laughs> New, New York, York is the vibe. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you, that you guys shade are, was crazy. She was like, no, nothing. That's, that's not shade, but it's like let's we, get we're going on let's go, let's ten go. minutes. We did about we, we did go on change. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. All right. Sorry, Nala. Nala slapped our hands with the ruler really quick. Let's let's get into our very first topic, man. Big shout out to Loki. He's a friend of the show. Loki started a debate, man. He said that Fifty Cent would wash Lil Wayne in a versus. Uh, DJ Envy of The Breakfast Club poured some gasoline on that fire because uh, his words had the bloggers in a frenzy in the timelines chatting. Uh, I guess that'll be our, our first real discussion. I'm wondering what you guys would feel is a goat versus battle. Do you feel like 50 Cent and Lil Wayne is a goat versus battle? Do you feel like something else would be higher on the bill for you guys? I would. Oh, 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 go, go ahead. Um, I would, I, I'm gonna let Diamond go just because I was really curious as to how Rob felt about this. <laughs> just because I know that you guys be so biased that you guys are gonna be like, oh, when, when have I ever been biased? When have you guys I ever been biased? Guys are biased every time y'all talk about journalistic on this. integrity. No, he does. Look, no, it always comes back to being from New York. No, no, no. Rob, Rob would be like, <laughs> You know, personally, can, I think can, it's this, can, but can he'll put still, his. You don't know me, B. His journalist <laughs> you don't hat know on. Me. Can, can we let Diamond just? No, outside yeah. outside of fifty, I would love to see Wayne and Drake. I would Ooh. love to see a Wayne and Drake. We've seen that, that though. They did, they did the tour. tour. The yeah, Wayne versus Drake tour was amazing. But now, yeah. not a I guess on a, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Now you see, you gotta sit and really like play hit by hit by hit. You know what I mean? I would love to see a little family feud. That would right. be good. I think when I went to the tour at the time, I'm like, man, I'm really just here for Drake. Like, I don't even really care to see what Wayne does. Ah, that's but, the disrespect. But, nah, but Wayne Damn. went so crazy that I was just like, oh. Okay, Change Wayne won, mind. but Wayne won, and that was back in 2013. So I think now, if that was to happen, it might be a different yeah, story. Drake got right, though. like a decade later, you think about how Drake and Wayne have evolved, and how and the records that they've had in that time period too is like it'd be still be a completely different experience. But it's different vibes because Wayne is like a rock star. Like he's like rapping, but he's like a rock star. Where Drake stuff is like pop star. I feel like yeah. Wayne's like his. What he wears and his like his personality is rock star, but when it comes to records, I feel like he be getting down like on you know. Facts. Facts. Rob, I want to go to you, but really quick, I want to just encourage you guys in the chat to make sure you guys chime in on the answers because we'll be reading some of the answers. Uh, what would be a goat versus battle is the question for you all. And now, Rob, we're coming to you, I Wayne. Got, I got a, I got yeah. a couple of things, yeah. And first of all, this ain't me backtracking because you can go on Twitter. Low key is my man. I told him he was smoking rocks. <laughs> like, the Wayne disrespect has to stop. Like, Wayne, like, what are you going to do? And, and 50, I'm not saying 50 don't got joints. 50 is a monster, is a juggernaut. But Wayne's run really from, like, hot boy era mm. to mm. now. I could pull out. And, like, what do you do when Wayne plays back that ass up? 
Because he was on that record. Mm. He could play that record. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about mixtape joints. We're talking about the remix, the R&B joints. Like, you know, all right, 50 got um the joints with Joe, G-Unit and Joe, classic mm. joints. But what do you do when Wayne plays Lloyd? Or you or something like this a lot. Wayne Ooh. can go in a lot of I, different oh, directions. I just want to know what who are you guys picking? You picking Wayne? I'm picking Wayne, absolutely. Wayne. I'm picking Wayne. Oh, it's oh. unanimous. Yeah, yeah. I'm picking fifth. No. Oh, oh, See, fifth. I had to. Fifth gonna come out. I had to. They're gonna play nah. those joints. Fifth gonna come out with a like a, a series collection of power and just slap it on the table. I like <laughs> I'll, it. I'll give you some New York bias though if you want some. It ain't even New no, York no, bias. No, no, we really it's don't. Bad. Nah. I, th- there's been a lot of talk about this JD versus Diddy. Right, right. Mm. Versus. You put dog uh, Puff got it. I think Hands so too. Down. I think yeah, so too. I, agree. I, agree. I believe Puff so got and, and Jermaine is no disrespect Stop. to Jermaine, but you know I, I hear people say Stop. I hear people say yo Charlemagne shout out to Charlemagne is like oh they, it should just be an R and B battle why. Why should Puff have to forfeit his hip hop hits? I'm just gonna say a lot of stop to the fact that like you saying it's him hands down. Like oh. it's not it's not hands down. <laughs> hands down. Like feet it's actually down. because versus is twenty for twenty. They they both got over twenty. Absolutely, they both got. So over it's 20. like that's not a hands down. That's like we, just a fair. We, it's we, a good night. We talking and I don't want to be disrespectful. We're talking about two juggernauts. Jermaine is obviously a pioneer. Yeah. J- Jermaine got countless hits, but the. But Puff. Back- Back to the 50 Cent thing, because I honestly came ready for war, because I'm like, I know you guys are all New Yorkers. <laughs> you don't know me. You don't so know I thought me like y'all that. were going to be just as biased like as Low Key and Envy. You know, shout out yeah. to them. I love them, but that was just ridiculous. I feel yeah. like they're they're living in a bubble when it comes to that, because it's not like, I think people get confused about, like, 50's impact versus, like, catalog. Right. Like, mm. Lil Wayne has been on Billboard for four decades. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Facts. Like, And what 50 has done, 50 has evolved from artist to now, you know, CEO in the television space. Like, it, it's beyond music. So I think yeah. when it comes to that, I don't even think that was the fair matchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. I agree. Right? Yeah. I'll, I'll take it. I'll but take versus it. is music, though. Mm. Like, it's just straight music. So when you look at it musically, like, how would you feel? Like, if they had to I mean, pull out they. Yeah. Wayne still got the deeper catalog. I actually was going to call Cortez Bryant because I called him about it. He was so pissed. He's like, I can't believe they would say this, that, well, 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 that's, 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 that's what it was. So you was going to get me to talk. Yeah, yeah I was like, I was like go ahead. Listen, hold ready. on. A day after Wayne reposted my and freestyle, that's, and that's you're going to get me to talk crazy and then get Tez honestly, on the phone. That's why I was so curious. Look, like, wow, what side oh, okay, are you I on? See, I see. No, what side are you on? I know you That's you've the been, question I got. Yeah, like, who's the family? And you did this to Gabe on the first day. You did this to Gabe with B. No, not <laughs> just called. I, I, I definitely didn't tell B. Oh, not to call. B. just called. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, nonetheless, but I will say, right. um, when it comes to catalog, <laughs> Tez. That's me. I'm here. <laughs> okay. I, just, I just wanted to bring you out. I told you we was having the debate today about 50 Cent versus Wayne, and I wanted you I to wait. I don't know why that's a debate, but okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I said the same thing, and I saw it got you really riled up. <laughs> Yes. Talk about talk about the accolades that Wayne has that I think people forget. I mean, listen, I don't think there's no comparison to 50 Cent and Wayne. Like, it was very disrespectful when I really heard that, that comparison. I thought that since Versus existed, right, I was like, there's no, there's nobody Wayne could battle with besides himself. Like, the catalog is too strong and too long, for one, you know? In the history, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all some stats now. Y'all record this? Yeah, but make it quick. We live. Though. Don't don't we live. <laughs> don't drag it. Get to the point. Don't drag it. Uh, I'm, re- I'm being recorded. Yes. We live, brother. Oh, I didn't know I'm like walking inside my apartment. All right, come on, Ted. <laughs> what? No, but seriously, no. Now, B- Billboard Hot 100 entries, right? In the history of music, not rap, not rap, all music that ever existed, ever. That, that means you have hits. You got to have hits. That's that's what this bar is about, right? Versus is about 20 hits. Versus is about 20 hits. I'm talking about the history of music, entries. That means you have to have hit songs. He's number two in, of all time. Wayne's number two of all time oh. in Billboard hits? Mm, mm, mm. All time. All right. Oh, that's that's- that's the end of that conversation. Thank you, Tez. Appreciate you, man. <laughs> the le- appreciate you. The legendary Cortez Bryant, man. Cortez. Yeah. yeah, man. And I think my last comment on that is like... You tried I, to set me up. I, I compare, <laughs> like, I compare 50 Cent's Get Rich or Die trying to, like, 
Usher's Confessions. It's like just a classic tape that can't be fucked with because of impact and just the like perfection of the project. Amazing. But it doesn't mean like, you know, when it, it, comes, it doesn't it's replace versus, like yeah. somebody's whole career. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah ver- versus isn't an uh, 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 album battle. Mm. It's, right. It's song for song. song, that, for song. That's why when people talk about even Usher and Chris Brown, like I'm listen listen man. Who wait, whose side are you on? I, I love Usher. Breezy got missiles. Yeah. Like, like if we talk about people, <laughs> no, like, do. like you know, so it, it's just a different, different type of. His thing, voice so. is timeless. Like he mm. could still drop a record right now and it'd be a hit. Like yeah. Rick no. Brown is. He got a big. record every summer. No. He, 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 <laughs> he really does. Somehow, never stop. Subway does find a record. I, Every summer. I want to jump to some of the comments really quickly. Uh, Penn Hoodie says that Drake and Wayne is a GOAT versus, but they would never do that. Uh, let's never I say see, never. I see them do it. Yeah, yeah see never them. say never. Uh, Luke the Boss 7, what up? They say, yo, I love NYC, but y'all be wilding sometimes. Lil Wayne is washing 50. We, mm. bro. All right. Uh, yeah. We all, yeah. I, we all, we all, we all in agreement. We, we all so agree, I, yeah. I tried to line Different. me up. That was crazy. That was OD. I, but you know what? Honestly, I feel a little bit better because you tried to do yeah, that to me first episode. Yeah, he did that to you. So I'm like, oh, we calling friends? <laughs> <Yeah>. All right. <laughs> we calling a friend like it's who wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> uh, Jay Nurse 718. They must be from the town because they have 718 in the name. But it says, I don't even like Wayne like that, but he got it. <laughs> Crispy oh, Jack it. is a returner commenter on the show. Shout out to you. Uh, they said that 50 don't got it like that. Wayne would wash all day. Mm. Y'all getting a little disrespectful out here. Uh, <laughs> and then Free Market NRX says Eminem, Wayne, and Yeezus. Like a, is that like, a, are they saying a, a triple? A three-way triple? battle? Like a three-way battle. Yeah. yeah. It could be interesting. That's such an odd three to pick. Yeah. Okay. Could I'm be interesting. It. Could be interesting. Could I'd watch it. Yeah, I'm yeah, definitely tapped in. Just to see you what's going opinion. on with it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely we'll tap in. <laughs> you got your opinion. That's fine. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our next conversation. Uh, man, what's going on with Drake, man? Did you guys see he dropped a new snippet? Uh, he was in the cl- It looked like he was in a club somewhere. Yeah. He does what he does uh, maybe when he's drunk and he gets behind the boards and starts DJ. taking over the vibes. Yeah. Uh, but he dropped a snippet, and uh, I want to read some of the lyrics. Uh, it says... I need someone to be patient with me, someone to get money would not take from me. Hey, don't even need to be as famous as me. I don't think I meet him at the places I be. Uh, did y'all hear the snippet? You I did. So you didn't. You didn't read the, <laughs> the, the pitbull oh, lyric. It's the beard. I did not read the pitbull lyric. But if you want to bring that one up, I, Rob, I don't you, know. You it's a, no, what's the lyric? Wait, it was a, I'm a pitbull. So dale, mommy. <laughs> you felt that. <laughs> <laughs> he like, he went hey, off. You know. When Drake said that, he went off. Right? <laughs> nah. <laughs> did y'all, I, obviously, Rob heard it, but did you guys hear the snippet? And yeah. if so, thoughts? It oh, was cool. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, new flow. Yeah, definitely a new flow. It, it was all right. It was cool. You know, got to listen to the whole thing. Now we're just nodding away. Yeah, now, uh, look, I'm going I'm to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of, of rap. Drake, I know Drake has different modes that mm-hmm. he goes into. Yep. This sounded like a, a softer, more R&B side. Like he was talking to to women on it. It wasn't necessarily for me. Right. But mm-hmm. it could also be unfinished. Like So, you know, I, I'll give it a chance when the, when the when the whole thing come out. But um, I'm a fan of, like, you know, Lemon Pepper Freestyle Drake. Same. It's like yeah. what Same. I really I feel more. like um, ever since Certified Lover Boy has been like a cry for help. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, be, well, hold on. Let me Real quick, let me just get this question off yeah. that we have. To the audience, it says, is it time for Drake to settle down? That is our conversation point. So make sure you guys answer in the comments. But Gabe, you feel like it's a cry for help. A do cry you for help and like, love. You feel it, me? Is like, it time for Drake to settle down? Should he stop crying for help? Do you think it started with Certified Lover Boy? No. Because I feel like he's been no, crying no, no. for He's been crying for a while. No, <laughs> no, no, I feel like he's been I feel like he's been in this pocket for a while. I'm just saying that the, since Certified Lover Boy has felt like the most like prevalent. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like he's been like he's been like, yo, I'm I'm tired of this. I'm tired of being in the club. Like I even think if even to go as far as like, did you see um, when LeBron James broke the record? He did like a little commercial for him and had like a green screen background. The green screen background felt. He was in the, the club, club. With, with all the women. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, this is a cry for help, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, look at this. I don't think he was joking. No, that's a yeah. that's a joke, but you right. know, I think Drake. I think Drake is just tapping into the female audience. I think he plays right. with us every once in a while. You know what I mean? Like he gives us the hardcore Drake, and then he gives us the. The lover boy right. Drake, you know, he's just Can tapping I? it. To answer the poll, yes, Drake, we want you to find love. I think like I'm, I don't want to hear no more records about all the women you're dating and strip club lifestyle and falling in love every night with a new girl. Like I want to hear like what married Drake sounds like, what in love Drake sounds like, even like what being a father Drake sounds like. And I feel like that's like I, another. I do want to hear that. Like another level, he got to unlock. 
But I don't care if he settles down. I mean, yeah. just keep yeah. putting out good music. Yeah. That's all I care about. But I, I, I do think he's he's really been great. Like, his music has been mm-hmm. a diary. It's been really an open book, and you could track Drake's life through his music. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, I, you know, I, I mean, it's not for me to say whether he should be in a relationship or not, but I, I would like a new narrative, like a new mm-hmm. kind of chapter in his life. Um just to, you know, keep shit interesting. So, and yeah, go I want to really quickly just reread these lyrics one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Speed, this need, is hitting you personally. I need personally? someone to be patient with me. Mm. Someone to get money would not take it from me. Mm. Hey, don't even need to <laughs> hey. be famous. <laughs> I, 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 I can see. I, can I don't see. think I meet him at the places I'd be. You're reading that so like passionately. I can, like, I can see. I can see. If you, you can talk about you it. Now this is, this is a caption. Like, like this, this sweet, this is speedy. Like in on the set of complex. Like when all the lights are low, the production is over. <laughs> in his sweats and kind of just like <laughs> contemplating, like a little drink in his hand. And then swirling that's, it around. That's the <laughs> caption. I need someone to be patient with me. Someone to get money and not take it with me. I, feel I love you. the way you painted that picture. It feels very like poetry slam esque to me. I feel know? like. Uh, I feel like. Uh, back to the point about him, whether or not he's in a relationship or not. Of course, it's your choice. Do what you want. But I will say there's just something dope about the men who do have women, like Jay-Z and Beyonce, you know, Savannah and LeBron. Yep. Like, we just, as a woman, I like and, like, respect those type of men. So I feel like Drake doing that would just add another level of, like, more, I don't want to say being a real man, but it just you want to stop being a player all the time. Yeah, like, it's love. It's, it's like Start a level up. But mm-hmm. even even Jay, after him and Beyonce got together, and, and whether they confirmed it or didn't confirm it. His music, it took a while for his music to start reflecting that. Because they were together and he was still like, get your independent up ass out of here, question. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, it was still kind of, he was a bully with the bars. Shots right. A inspired. little bit on the women. It, it, it took a little while for even Jay to settle into that. You know, so he so. kind of like that matured was, into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. And I feel like for every like every artist like that or like a J Cole or or whatnot, you need someone to make music for just for folk people folk. who's outside. You want know folk 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 folk. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Not everybody want to listen to a song about folding clothes. Oh, don't keep shut it up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't I don't do that. really want to be folding clothes. I want to be outside. Not like, yet. Not you not yet. wear the clothes, yeah. not fold them. Respectfully, you know respectfully. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to be outside. I want some outside. music. So you're not ready to settle down. So you you want Drake to just still be out here doing the play? I mean, outside music is great music yeah no it definitely is like honestly i'll listen to honestly never mind if i was in ibiza there's a time okay and a that. place for everything but i feel like as i grow i want the artists that i grew up on to grow with, with me. you like, i don't want to feel like feel that. i'm listening to you and i still feel like i'm in college like mm-hmm. no nah, i should listen to you and still resonate i feel like mm-hmm. and that's why i'm like like grow with me grow with me yeah so yeah. you was, you was feeling so folding clothes mm-hmm. when j cole i love folding, folding clothes, clothes. Okay. i actually that's my right. favorite for your eyes only is my favorite cole album okay all right like this is interesting pick yeah, yeah, let's jump in real quick to the poll results. Uh, 45% of y'all say yes, and 55% of you guys say no. Uh, let's jump to some comments as well. Scotty Potty says, LMAO, dude, he been needing to relax, though I do respect that he wears his heart on his sleeve and is open about mental health, etc. Drake does wear his heart on his sleeve, Definitely I feel. Does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's his calling card, for sure. Yeah, yeah. We've got uh, Indemar. They say he'll never settle down. He doing way too much. Wasn't he talking to Millie Bobby Brown for a hot minute too? Uh, I don't, all right. I thought that was unfair, <laughs> man. That is, we're 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 entering dangerous waters yeah, there. Let's just press on. Nah, yeah, real. Right. I'm not even being political. I thought I thought that whole controversy was unfair to Drake, man. Like it wasn't nothing wrong with that. I can't see nothing going on. All right. I'm going to press on. Uh, <laughs> Baguette Baby One says, I want him to go through his I love my wife face. Yes. <laughs> like Chance did. Please, God, do you, don't. Do you guys want that? Do you want uh, I love my wife Drake yes. era? No. Absolutely. No. Absolutely not. Says Gabe. I, I, I just don't want. I just don't want Drake to make his big day album. Like that's. I just don't want that to happen. Wow. I boop, do boop, want boom. him to do it, but not right now. Mm. Not okay. right now. Right, not, yeah, I, yeah. I need him to keep, like you said, keep being outside, and then. But if not now, then when? How much let, more do you need from him? Get, I mean, give us like six more years before you start settling down. Six more six? years? Yeah. He's going to be like in his 40s. Like okay, mid- that's when Jay-Z, cool. but yo, that's when Jay-Z did <laughs> it, though. Cool. When Jay-Z was start, talked about settling down and he was talking about being a father and uh, he was in his 40s, right? Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know well, that's late 30s, early 40s. Ain't nothing yeah. wrong with living your life. No. I, yeah, I, no. I, I, I just want 
I just want the bars, man. I want. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the hip hop. I, 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 I just want 5:30 p.m. in Youngtown, Ohio. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Wait, say that again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 2:30 in, in San Diego. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. yeah, give me those times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, Youngstown, Ohio. You never heard of Youngstown, Ohio? <laughs> 3 p.m. in Tallahassee. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, all of that. Just give me all of that. Oh uh, man, we've got one more comment here. Uh, this one's coming from Crispy Jack again. They say that boy don't want to settle down. Remember that video? where he married like 39 women. Yes. Yeah. Do you yep. remember that music yes. video? Yeah, when it, was, it was an interesting camera work too, how they panned. Yeah, it was just last like year. A it bunch wasn't of that. <laughs> <laughs> he was drawn with it. I think it was drawn. Four. Look, she That's dropped number one. it. Drawn. There he goes. Drawn <laughs> came in. Naturally and Every very organic. Every time said, you got to take a shot. Sip up, y'all. I'm already, 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 already done. done. Like, actually, y'all wasn't that, okay. I'm having the shot came at this point. Y'all don't have Puerto Rican drink. The shot came at this point of the show is a good thing because now y'all can start Jumping out the roof with some more hot takes. <laughs> uh, we haven't ready. One more uh, comment here. This one's from Scotty Potty again. He says, there's a level of maturity for that, you know? Him looking around, being all over the place with different women reflects a certain lack of personal direction. But I'm overstepping, to be honest. Now let's no, snap you're not, not you're preaching, Scotty. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you. I would say that's true. That's but listen, no, life. no, no. But Let him be. If, if I'm being real, too, you don't need to be settled down to kind of grow up in your music. If you look at somebody like Nas, you know what I'm saying? Like, we've seen him in a marriage and then out mm -hmm. of a marriage, sure. but there's still maturity to his music. Um, but Nas it, been mature since he was, like, five. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, yeah. that, that's just, like, in him. Yeah. But, I, and to the to your point, though, like, he experienced marriage. So even if Drake doesn't even last in a marriage, you know what I'm saying? I just want to hear it for the project. You know how yeah. people be like, I want Mary to, to do it so she can get heartbroken and make the music? I want the same with Drake. That's so that's so it. foul. I hate, I, I hate when people say that about I, Mary J. Blige. Yeah, I do like, too. Yeah, at, at least at this point, her Yeah, career. I want you to be heartbroken. So the music, that, damn, that's fucked up. She gave us enough. Yeah, I just want the love yeah. now. <laughs> just, just Mary done been through enough, Yeah, she man. been through enough. She, she was your lover and your secretary, man. Working every day of the week. Yeah, Mary well, while we're on the topic of Drake, uh, fans were upset this weekend. He was supposed to perform at Lollapalooza in Brazil, but he wasn't able to make it due to, quote, unforeseen circumstances. Uh, here's what the statement from the festival read. Uh, again, this is the translated version, so forgive us if anything is not all the way correct, but it says this. Due to unforeseen circumstances, Drake is without members of his sound and production team essential for the realization of the Lollapalooza show in Sao Paulo. Drake was excited to perform for his fans in Brazil. Unfortunately, this is out of his control. Sorry. If you guys were on the internet, though, just the previous night, he was seen in the club with 50 uh, big queens. Uh, they were together in Miami. And so some people thought that maybe he didn't make his show because he was drinking too much. Uh, perhaps uh, he, the long night led to him not being able to fulfill his duties on the stage. Uh, so the question to our Twitch viewers is what is the wildest reason to play hooky? And the question to you guys is, what do you think? Uh, you, you saw Drake and Fifth in the club together, I assume? I, I like the part where it's like he, um, he was excited to perform and Forty out of his control because of the fact that members of his sound and production team weren't able to make it. Sounds like Forty got a little... <laughs> <laughs> Got a little too drunk too. That's nah, what that sounds like to you me. You know, maybe, maybe. You know, forty years in, in in the best of health either. So you, like, you don't know mm. what what really is going on there. I, look, man. First of all, two Drake segments in a row is wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know the they Drake just, they're trying to get me to drink and then say something <laughs> crazy so it could go viral. We are gonna see OVO this weekend at um. Dreamville oh, yeah. Fest. Oh, yeah. So I, I kind of feel like Amazon is trying to set me up. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, you know, you got to give Drake the benefit. It, Drake isn't known for missing shows either. So, mm. it, you know, this is the only one that I could really remember Same. or recall. Same. So you got to give him the benefit. It's not like no shots, but shots. It's not like Lauren Hill. I knew you were going to say it. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And, and, and you be late. And like Lauren is notoriously late for every right. show. So it's it's almost like, well, what's the reason? Like, he got a good track record. Yeah, he got a good track record, man. He got to yeah. Drake the benefit. And yo, and honestly, some artists, I'm not saying this is for Drake, but some artists just don't want to show up to a show. I've seen so many artists, and I know you guys seen it too, where they're like, such and such a sick, they ain't going to make it. How they get sick today? They wasn't, <laughs> they wasn't sick last night. They was partying all night, and then... Y'all sick today on show day. Mm. You know what I mean? Sometimes yeah. some artists just don't want to yeah, make it. Yeah, but you know how much Drake, you know what that show bag? Right. Like, Yo, that's a million I'm not plus. saying that for Drake. I'm right. saying, like, for yeah. a lot of artists, it, it just be like that. I'm showing up. 
for yeah. the, uh, can, the million plus. I need my back. Can y'all Let's explain go. to the viewers out there who may not know how the business side of music works, how this would play out? Do they set, sometimes get the money up or half of it up front and then the, they don't show up? You, don't usually when you, when you sign the agreement, you'll get a front end payment. You'll get yeah. like half up front. <laughs> uh-huh. And then day of show, you get what's called the back end. Shout out to Finesse two times. You know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you know, you get the second half of the payment. So if you want to get paid... You got to show up. And I guess if you don't show up, you either forfeit it or they'll come up with some other plans for you to make it right. Okay. We got a special guest in the chat. Dead Mouse is here. Big shout out to Dead Mouse. Uh, They said, I skip a Drake show for a dentist appointment. Shrug. Yeah. Oh, this was damn. Oh my god. Damn. Wow. Drake that, shows are pretty Drake great. Are lit. What are you talking yeah. about? That's crazy. Dead Mouse said, I am not caring about it. If I have to go get my fillings done, I'm going to the dentist. I would have to lose the tooth. I ain't going to lie. Drake shows usually at night. Yeah. Like, what, 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 you, Dr. Giggles? Like, Dead who Mouse, you seeing? I mean, <laughs> not Dr. Giggles. <laughs> the dentist opens up at any time Dead Mouse wants, I'm sure. It's my, true. My so. boy going to somebody's <laughs> basement in the Heights. Like, <laughs> 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 like, Is that the real Dead Mouse? We got to figure I this out. I doubt that. I doubt Why would you doubt that? Because why would he so but we got the like most this show. Like, why wouldn't Dead yeah, Mouse be in our, in our uh, comments? That is a fact, but why would he say that about Drake? Come on, Listen, Shout out to Dead Mouse. Yeah, big shout out to, <laughs> to Dead Mouse because it is the real you Dead right. Mouse. You're right. It's, it's the real Dead, Dead Mouse. Damn, Dead Mouse. That's how you feel Yo, it? thanks for tuning in. Yeah, appreciate it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't miss a Dead Mouse show. For nothing. <laughs> ever. Hey, yo. Let's go. <laughs> if you had a dentist appointment, would you miss a dead mouse? Show? <laughs> That's funny. Let me just. We don't got dental. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's not playing. Let me shout out a couple other comments. Uh, this one's from Uma Thermos. Funny name. Uh, <laughs> let's hope he shows up for Dreamville this weekend. Rob, if he doesn't, you got to come on the show next week and let us know what really happened. Uh, yeah, yeah, nah. We're going to be backstage um, at Dreamville Fest. Me, Wayno, Gia Peppers from R&B Rotation. Nice. So we're going to give y'all the lowdown. Like, yeah, definitely if Drake don't show up or. <laughs> We're going to let y'all know. We gonna, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's definitely going to come. We're going to tell y'all what Cole had for lunch. Yeah. You know Nobody what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going we gonna to give the play-by-play. Play. I'm going to come back. We're going to break it all down. All the festivals that go on, Dreamville Fest is absolutely my favorite one. I feel like it's like it's just organized. It's just my vibe, my pocket. But I do think they didn't announce this, but I feel like, okay, Cole just did a tour with 21 Savage. Drake just did a tour with 21 Savage. I think they're going to surprise us with, you know. Is it Cole, then 21, then Drake, or like yeah. some yeah. combination like yeah, that. That'd, that'd be, be fire. Tight. Jumping back in the comments, Dead Mouse followed up. He said, uh, sorry, can't make it. Veneer popped off from a one <laughs> night out in Olive Garden. <laughs> those breadsticks, those damn breadsticks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out to the Tour of Italy meal. All right. uh, but man, the veneer popping off. Man, shout out to Dead Mouse. That's legendary, <laughs> man. Trying to get rich like you, my boy. Yeah, shout out to Dead Mouse. Come on the show, the man. We'd love to have you. Or maybe we should just go live from a Dead Mouse show and just yeah. do an episode. I'll do that. That would be fire. We're in there. And we'll all we'll just bring all of our personal dentists just to make sure we have a fresh whitening before we <laughs> start the <laughs> live stream. All right, let's move on to our next story. Uh Adidas and Beyonce are mm. no longer. As you guys know, uh Beyonce linked up with Adidas a while back to uh debut her Ivy Park line. Uh, the two sides said that the split was mutual. TMZ did some reporting and said that Ivy Park was falling $50 million short of its expected sales. Boy, is that a lot of money. Uh, do you guys feel like Ivy Park really caught on the way that it, it should have? You know, it is Beyonce, one of the biggest living artists. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, for Ivy Park to be failing like this, do you feel like something else is at play or maybe just was it not... Fire. Yo, for me, I really don't understand it because it was a lot of Fire Ivy Park pieces, I feel like, that they had put out. So I was, you know, kind of surprised by it because, I'm, you know, some of, the, some of the sneakers, I mean, I probably wouldn't have got, but the track sheets <laughs> and the jackets was fire. You know I what think man? the pieces were definitely yeah. fire, especially, like, you know, Beyonce had House of Deleon, like, in 06, 07 or something yeah. like that. I yep. hated that line. Ivy Park, though, was hard. So I was really rooting for it, but I, what I will say, though, is I felt like, I guess because I would always see it on, like, high-end celebs. Yeah. Like, I see it on the Chloe Baileys, the Ice Spices, Mm -hmm. the Zendayas. So it didn't really feel like something I could just see myself in on a regular day. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like wearing Ivy Park is like having a Soho House membership. It definitely is. It's like an an elitist type thing. But I think as far as, like, the designs and stuff, it was there. The pieces was definitely extra. I got an Ivy Park jacket, and it got, like, a mask attached to it. It it was, you know, it's definitely creative. You think she needed to tell tell her down a little bit? Yeah, you know, maybe get more, like, 
everyday influencers. Yeah. That way it can influence everyday people. Yeah. Really quick before we jump to Rob and Gabe, I want to pose the question to the audience. Are collabs dead? Feels a little dramatic, but are collabs dead? Fashion uh, collabs? Yeah. Are collabs oh. between artists and brands dead? Definitely. That's Absolutely. for the audience right now. We'll, we'll visit that in a sec. But Rob, Gabe, thoughts on uh, why Ivy First Park and Adidas I, didn't work? I feel like this is cap. A mutual split. Who breaks up with Beyonce? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like that don't happen. Like you seen the one guy from her prom that back in the day, oh, the yeah. one dude. Like he still like he got to kick himself every day. I don't know who broke up with who, but yeah, you know I mean, like who breaks up with Beyonce? Um, I'm not buying it. Uh, you know, I think the the failure or the mistake of Ivy Park because uh, the designs look fire to me. I, mean, I remember being in the office and you know it would drop like. 12 o'clock on the Tuesday and seeing all the women in the office run out of meetings, schedule time on their calendar, mm. do not disturb, and everybody on that app yep. trying to catch the Ivy Park. It's like what, what we do for the sneakers app, what guys go through. Mm. And I feel like the failure sneakers with Sneakers aren't just for guys. It's not just for guys. I'll definitely go sneakers <laughs> too at 10 no, 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 a.m. For sure. <laughs> you just trying to make a comparison. <laughs> okay. But, but um, yeah, I'm just making a comparison. Like And socially, you see, it's mostly when the Jordan comes out and you don't get it. On the sne- and it's guys on social media like, yo, I didn't get it. Like, but I think with Ivy Park, I, I think it was inaccessibility. Mm. It, it kind of going back to what Nyla said, not just mm. the 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 influences that they had on it, but yo, put pieces out there so everyday Everybody working can people get could get it and they could see themselves in it. And I think it would have caught on more. So to me, it felt like a business decision, not a Beyonce decision. But the inaccessibility mm. of the line might have been why the reason why maybe they lost so much money because I. I know women who who were uh, and guys yeah. who were going crazy yeah. for those yeah. pieces. I think yeah. it's a setup for something bigger. Some of the male pieces were yeah. fire though. I ain't gonna lie, but I'm still on the fact that her that her joint had a shiesty attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, it, like, definitely, it definitely did. Definitely did. It was a little green trench coat mm-hmm. joint with the. The like what? Like are they expecting like people to go run drills and like in these joints? Like think, what's going I on think here? This jacket came out might have been right after you know. COVID, COVID. Mm-hmm. yeah, so I think that was the inspiration behind okay. it. But honestly, I think it would be cool if, like, she does a collab with maybe, like, somebody like Puma. Mm. You know, that's, like, in the family, Rock Nation. Oh, and, Rihanna. Yeah, and I feel like it's just a little more... I want to see something, like... Reachable. This, y'all might say something, but I want to see, like, a Balenciaga collaboration. I think they do well with collabs. They did... I like the Kanye collab that they did. So I want to see, like, something like that. And, um... I do feel like it was something where a lot of people couldn't get to. But then that's what a lot of things, like with sneakers, there's a lot of times where we want a a piece of clothing or something or a sneaker that we just can't get. You know what I mean? But I I think that's that's the game that the fashion world plays on us is this thing like you can't get it so it makes you want it more. But I think that there's a point that you hit where it's like, oh, if I can't get it, I just don't want it. That's that's how I'm underestimating people. You know what I mean? Like. And you know what? I could still dress. I could get creative with some things that are more accessible than me and still look fly. So I, I think Beyonce shouldn't collab with anybody. I think she's Beyonce. Mm. I, you put out your own. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Like, like her, house her, her, her tour, Yeah, her tour merch. I think it was just too early for House of Darion. Yeah. But her mm-hmm. tour merch go crazy every, every time. So what makes you think Beyonce couldn't just do Perhaps the, her if own the, line? If the Ivy Park wasn't <laughs> selling the way that Adidas wanted it to, uh, the Renaissance Tour is coming up. They could have just sold some stuff at the I show. Oh, they messed you up. You know that would have moved They up. messed up. Yo, they, they messed up. up. <laughs> right, which, I, which is why I think it's weird that this happened at this time, too, because even with the Renaissance Tour coming up, you would think that all the hype would even be more hyper-focused on Beyonce come the summertime. Yeah. Maybe this was on her plan. You know how people be like, this was Kanye's plan. Maybe this was Beyonce's plan. Maybe she's like, you know what? I want all my proceeds. I'm getting all my tour merch money. I'm going to actually put Ivy Park on the tour. Like, maybe... Mm. Maybe that was part of her plan. Yeah. Adidas has now lost, though, Kanye and Beyonce. Right. Mm. I feel like that has an impact on Adidas as a brand. Absolutely. I think if you think about the impact that... You don't think so? No, go, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. He no, was no, shaking no. his head. Like, <laughs> no, 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 he's finished, he's finished. He's shaking his head. I got to be aware of my body language, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't... I think so because I feel like, well, one, they had, like, the whole thing come out with the profits and how much they lost since losing Kanye. But I think if you look at kind of, like, the hype that's been around Adidas these past five, six plus years, it's mostly been around these type of things. The Kanye's, uh, the Beyonce collabs. It really hasn't been like, okay, Adidas got like this brand new shoe that people are excited about or this retro shoe that people are excited about. It's mostly been about their collabs with these bigger artists. And Kanye was just cranking out shoes for a long time. Right. The slides, um, the regular Yeezy line. And then on top of that, the clothes too. And um, he had the Calabasas shoes too, which I believe yeah. with Adidas also. Yeah. So I think that... Uh, 
impact wise on Adidas. I think they'll bounce back because they're Adidas at the end of the day. But in terms of like at this moment right now, of course they're impacted because they were leaning so much on. I feel like Kanye and Beyonce. True. Before I jump to the poll results, Rob, Rob? I, Adidas <laughs> are gonna be fine. Adidas has football or soccer. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To depending on which part of the world you win. Mm -hmm. So I think Adidas as, as a business and 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 they'll be fine because they're the the number one shoe in football. So sure. that's that. I think for cultural relevance. Relevancy. 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 Okay. I, I said both, so whichever one is right. <laughs> um, I think Nike is dominating right now. And True. then followed by Nike is New Balance. So I think Adidas, mm. it's not going to fail as a company, but is it going to be the hot shoe? Like, we're going to Adidas right now culturally because of Beyonce and yeah, and yeah So yeah. it's like, yeah. all right, now you're not working with them. Well, Nike was having better joints anyway. And even New Balance doing things with, like, Joe Fresh Good local mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or, like, you know... Uh, Mom and Pop, I guess, yeah. black-owned designers is really fly. So Adidas has, you know, some work to do. Right. Yeah, yeah, true. All right, poll results. Uh, are collabs dead? 29% of you guys say yes and 71% say no. So that's kind of hopeful. Uh, quick comments. Shawnee Bravo says Adidas continues to lose. Indimar says Adidas is cursed since Kanye. If you can't make money on Beyonce, I don't know who you need to get. That's the point you're making, man. It's Beyonce. Mm -hmm. If you yeah. can't make money on Beyonce, yeah. come on. Uh, Irvster05 says, whoa, Beyonce old. Hate to what? see what? that. What? <laughs> what? what that With this emoji. That's the proper yeah, emoji to use face. for saying something like that. <laughs> uh, Shoney Bravo back says, Beyonce leveled up and got in her luxury bag with Balmain. Uma Thurman says, that hurts. Ivy Park is like a Soho House membership. No, that's a bar. <laughs> yeah, that is a Before bar. the show ends, go trademark that. You might be able to do <laughs> uh, Dead Mouse is back. Dead Mouse says, she should come on over to Olive Garden. Let's show. <laughs> the Beyonce and Olive Garden collab would go so dumb. I would love that. <laughs> I would love no. Yeah, Some, uh, oh, down, unlimited unlimited breadsticks with a side of Ivy Park. I don't know about Olive Garden. It should be so Red much. Lobster if anything. Much, don't she got the Red Lobster the red bar? Red Lobster would be yeah. fire. Red fire. <laughs> it's way too much carbs in Olive Garden to be. You know what I'm saying? Come Fair. On, Crispy Jack is back, and they say, I feel like the pieces were not it after the first drop. Mm. Like, oh. Dot, dot, dot. I don't agree. Okay. Yeah. Salute to Crispy Jack. I mean, we're all entitled to our opinions. True that. Uh, but quickly, the same question that we posed to the audience, I posed to you guys. Are collabs dead, all in all? Absolutely not. No. No. Uh-uh. Unanimous, Rob? Uh-oh. I don't... It just don't move me no more. Like, like if you look at it, too, even um, Drake's collab... With um, Nike, the knock yeah. the line. Yeah, I, I, I just, it, they all just seem so very inaccessible to me. Mm. Um, I got some knock though. Yeah, okay. I, I think it's, it's accessible. You got seated? Huh? You got seated? No, I like, I actually bought okay. a tracksuit. Yeah, I yeah, could, yeah. I could, yeah. I could be wrong. I don't know. It's, I for think, me, it don't excite me. But that, I, I wear polo every week. So. <laughs> <laughs> I wear polo ain't accessible either. Rob Lauren, not the stuff you wear. What? Not the stuff you be wearing. You can't get that off a rack. I'm stopping regular stores. Collab people when it's like coming from like. I think people of the culture who are really into fashion. Yeah, like, like a Rocky. He said Rocky, Rocky would be fire. Rocky, one. Yeah. Even, I mean, Rihanna, Rocky's obviously, collabs. killing it. Rocky yeah. did a collab with Under Armour. I just think... Did the, you gob it? No. I like, think... I, I, don't, I don't know that it moves you. The yeah. person just got to be the right person, I feel like. So who's someone that you feel like if they were doing a collab, you're right. locked Besides in? Besides Right now? Yeah. But <laughs> J. Cole <laughs> does have a collab. But oh, by the way, collab, I get yeah. all the Pumas. Mm -hmm. Yo, I got I got every single J Cole Puma. See, so, like, yeah, I'm just, and they're comfortable. Nah, 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 I'm holding on to them. It's collectible. Ah, uh, collectible. Oh. Nah, you should bring a pair off for Dreamville. Oh. That Dreamville Fest check yeah. must hit. <laughs> 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 now, do you wear the Cole Pumas, the yeah, Dreamers. I do. Nice. Uh, yep. Gabe, oh, do I have the Cole Pumas? Yeah. No. All right. Yeah, not really. No. A fan no. of them. But uh -uh. it goes back to like ASAP Rocky and Under Armour, right? Like no shots, but I'm not really rocking Under Armour anyway. That's what sure. I was And there's not an yeah. artist that they can collab with. I that think would that will make me be like, yo, sure. I'm going to go copy I that. I think Under maybe Armour. the collabs got to make sense because I feel like now, you know, just hip hop in general are in a space where everything is just market, market, sell, 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 sell as much as you can. But like Megan Thee Stallion and Coach, that was a vibe. And yeah. I haven't had a Coach bag since like middle school. I, I damn near cuffed that How shit. It sold out. the Pharrell and Louis Vuitton? That makes sense. I mean, that's yeah. it's yeah. Pharrell. That sense, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. Didn't uh, Tyler have something for the last album? But Pharrell and True. Tyler are both yeah. like fashion icons in hip hop. True. Yeah. Like, we look at them for that. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I got to believe the collaboration. It's not mm. enough to to just take a hot artist and then 
Take you want to brand, elevate your brand. Slap I gotta them believe, together. I got to believe the collaboration. You yeah. spoke about Megan Thee Stallion with Coach. She is now an uh, ambassador and has a line coming with Nike. Nice. Would you tap in? Maybe I think she's doing like some lifestyle stuff, uh, trainer type vibes. You know, if I get back in the gym, I could see yeah. her. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other artists that you guys would be checking the collab for that come to mind? I said Rocky, not with Under Armour. But maybe yeah, he made a seat else. too, though, so yeah. that's a little more niche. But yeah. I think an artist who's really good at doing collabs too, um, Travis Scott. Yeah, Travis Scott. All I of his, all, yeah. all Travis his, yeah. Scott's I ain't gonna lie. During the pandemic, don't ask me why, but I have like a Travis Scott nerve gun that I just had Yo, put in my. I got a Travis yeah, Scott cup. <laughs> no, he, did the, he did the McDonald's deal. We yeah. now see McDonald's collab with a bunch of artists. They did a yeah. sweetie yeah. meal. Cardi and Offset did a meal. I think Jay Balvin did one. Jay Balvin yeah. had one. Yep, yep, yep. Did y'all go out and cop any of these McDonald's? No, things? but I have a Travis Scott McDonald's like lunchbox. I got the okay. hotty yeah. hot sauce at Popeyes. I think. Oh, was. I forgot about Sweet that. Yeah, 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 see, oh, I yeah. went. Yeah. 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 Rob, you went. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to be like, give me the hot. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, yo, can you give me that that sauce? And it was like, which one? I'm like, you know, the the Megan sauce. Come on. I couldn't say hotty hot. You got all the way up to the counter. You couldn't even. I was I was like, say it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see like McDonald's do a collab with like Cause or like a Hebrew mm. Brantley. I think mm. that would be fire. I love the artist collabs, but yeah. to have like one of those like little mm. Happy Meals. Somebody just did one. Um, what was it? Is it Cactus? Cactus Plant. Cactus Plant Flea they, Market. Yeah, yeah, they had they had like the little tool, like the adult Happy Meals. I thought that was yeah, fire. Yeah, that I want to see more yeah, of that. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Gabe, what drill artist would be a good uh, person to <laughs> have a collab right now? <laughs> Who could you see collabing on something? Uh, damn, what? Put you on the spot. Yeah, man. you did put me. You I'm, did put me on the spot. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with my boy Shawnee Bin Laden. Shawnee Bin Laden. Shawnee Bin Laden. I, I, I he got know. the he got the Grinch he got the Grinch stuff going on. You know, maybe something around Christmas time. I don't know. Right. The, Shout out um, Shawnee. Should the piece be a bulletproof like pop? <laughs> or you thought you had one there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> she was waiting like that. Yeah. You thought you, you really thought you had one. Let her have it. Let her have it. It's right here. I'm, I'm going to throw this up. Let's hear it. This shit is genius. It's free game. Ice spice with McDonald's Ooh. for the summertime, and McDonald's fixes all the ice cream machines. Ooh. Oh! You gotta, yeah, you gotta listen. Take make sure you know where you heard yo, that first. Yo, Brian, Brian, hold on, Brian, hold on. Let me. Let's get it You know how like different uh, fast food restaurants that they have to like the crowns or whatever. Mm -hmm. If they fix the ice cream machines, I need Rob to walk into McDonald's with the ice spice wig. Yep. That's that's <laughs> wow. <laughs> nah, what? I, I, it, what? I came up with the idea. I need, yeah, to to I need you to sell it as long as long as I walk out with a check. Okay, oh, that's right. period. I yeah. wear the wig. I'm walking you need out points with on the sales oh, for every single one of those. <laughs> Yo, holla at me. Let's go. We're going to make this happen. Yeah, Watch remember this. where y'all heard that first from Rob Markman on the Rotation that's Roundtable fine. show. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant idea. All right, let's move on to our next story. Uh, let's just celebrate Run DMC for a minute and their debut because back in 1984, this week, Run DMC released their iconic self-titled debut. Uh, this album helped make Run DMC... Uh, lit and one of the most uh, preeminent groups in hip hop history. Mm -hmm. I'm curious as to what you guys think is the most influential debut of your lives. Was the, why that grin, Gabe? Uh oh. I'm no, 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 go ahead. no. Keep going. No, no. That, that's the question. I'm Shawnee just curious. Ben yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ice Spice, like. <laughs> oh my god. Is it? Is 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 Ice Spice's like? Uh, the strongest debut you feel in in your lifetime. I mean, I know you've been enjoying it as well. So oh, I'm a huge yeah. icicle. Or, no, I feel or, like I'm, I feel like I think no, that, icicle. No, is, you're part of the spice say, cabinet. I'm part of the spice cabinet. Some people say icicle. I'm both. I haven't Kevin. seen a single person say icicle. I'll be on Twitter though. <laughs> but it might just be. I'm too deep in the Twitter threads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the fan pages and shit. My bad. Okay, go ahead. Um, debuted in, in our lifetime. Um, I think I might have to say Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Good kid or Section Eighty. What's the mm. debut? See, that's, that's tough, though. Would you, do you consider Section 80 the debut, or do you consider Good, Kitty, Good Kid, Mad City the debut? I feel like both of them in their entirety, you could say that. Yeah. But obviously, Good Kid, Mad City is more impactful, but, I might, but I'm going with Kendrick for sure. Okay. After I spice. I'm, okay. Nyla? Uh, I'm going to go with Drake so far gone. Mm. Fair? Yeah. The mixtapes just had me hype. I remember like going on www.drake.com, listening to Ransom, listening to Unstoppable, like the singles that he was dropping prior. So... You know, that album was a, a big deal. Then the features, I'm like, oh, Alicia Keys, Jay-Z. It was definitely Drake. So Far Gone or? Um, nah, nah. No, you said So Far Gone, but that, the album was. um. 
Thank me. Thank, thank me, me later. Thank me later. No, yeah. it's thank me later thank for me. Later. me. Gotcha, gotcha, but gotcha, the gotcha, mixtapes gotcha, gotcha. had gotcha. me excited for the album. Gotcha, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Diamond, what you got? Uh, you know, the ladies is running it right now. And I feel like one of the most influential albums of, who influenced a lot of them was Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday. Okay. okay. Yeah. Mm. Woo. Mm-hmm. Rob, um, what you got? Definitely salute Run DMC. I, w- I was a little young for that. I was around, but Sucker MCs, classic, one of the biggest hip hop groups of all time. I don't think we'd be here without them. But for me, my personal most influential debut album was Nas, Illmatic. Mm. Mm. Um, a, I, I'm, I'm just from that era. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. One of the questions we got here I think is an interesting one. What do you think is the most recent, truly great debut album that comes to mind Ooh. for you guys? Besides Ice Spice. Besides Ice Spice. <laughs> it's is <there> definitely <laughs> 50 Cent. I mean, like... No, no, no the no, no, most no. Recent, recent debut it's album. definitely 50 Cent. So you don't think no one? since 2000? No, no, no. 20 years? Stop, man. I'm Not telling you. And I only say this because... I interview rappers all day long, and a lot of them be like, "Yeah, Fifty Cent introduced me to rap. Fifty Cent did this." They don't say, they don't say J. Cole. I mean, I love J. Cole, Kendrick, the whole block era rappers, but it's still Fifty. Right. It's still I have something mm-hmm. way more recent than that that I thought was a very impressive debut album. I think Roddy Rich's debut album, "Please mm. Excuse Me for Being Antisocial," was very strong. Right. That had the box on it, broke all types of records. What baby, my favorite song off that. War Baby is crazy with the chorus in the background. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you guys have nothing more recent than um, 03? I would say Travis Scott's Rodeo. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Actually. Somebody that's Rodeo. Back, who said yeah, who that? Raise your hand if you raise your hand if you reacted to that. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Somebody, I, y'all want to hold up to it? all good, man. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. The production crew is feeling it. Right. That's I think I think in terms of production and then just kind of like the different type of um, the sounds that he curated and the features and even the visuals that came out with that album and the theme he created about it um i think that he that recent memory that's got to be the one from even me. the tape before that days before Rodeo, days before radio was incredible, incredible. Yeah, yeah i remember hearing that for the first time and being like yo this is some new shit and i'm yeah. really excited to see what comes of it yeah so, rob diamond anything more recent I'm sticking with Nikki. All right. The, I'm Fair st- I, and the only reason I say that because the ladies in hip hop are killing it right now. Mm-hmm. It's like we are dominating everything. And every artist you ask, I would say about 95% of them are going to say they were influenced by Nikki. That's true. No, right. that is so a fact. I, I definitely could have Nikki bang when yeah. she, after the five star chick verse, mm-hmm. I'm like, mom, I need a bang. I need a bang. Nyla's mom, I'm, if you're I'm, watching this, please send the picture to yeah, me. Also, I already uh, archived it on Facebook, so y'all can't find I it. I know your mom oh, got wow. it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> for, me, for me, it's definitely Good Kid. Mm. Good Kid Master. Good Kid is a great one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good Kid is a great one. All right, let's move on to our next topic here. Uh, I don't know if you guys spent much time on the internet. We don't have to spend too much time on this one, but uh, there was a hilarious clip. Uh, Soldier Boy was upset because there was a person doing a man on the street segment. Diamond can't even hold in her laughter already. <laughs> uh, someone asked uh, if the people on the street would prefer $250 worth of food stamps or to go to dinner with Soldier Boy. This is an obvious play on the old uh, dinner with Jay-Z or 500 k uh, The question that we have to the audience is, would you rather have dinner with a celebrity or 500 k Would you rather have dinner with a celebrity or 500 k uh, But to you guys... Just out of curiosity, dinner with Soldier Boy or two hundred fifty dollars in EBT? <laughs> Not the EBT. Give me the stamps, baby. You could flip those stamps. Yeah. I know a guy. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you gonna take the stamps? I'm definitely taking the stamps. Look. Wait, 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 wait! I thought it was five hundred k. No, 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 no. Soldier Boy was two hundred fifty dollars in food stamps, or dinner with Soldier Boy. Now, the question that we had to the audience was, is there a celebrity who, you know, you oh, choose oh, dinner oh. with okay. or 500K? Got you. If it's just the 250 food stamps, I guess I, I would take the dinner with Soldier. I like Soldier. I, I, I can relive my, my, childhood, my childhood. Like, yo, mm-hmm. I remember when. And then when you did, I was a Soldier girl. So, yeah, I would take the dinner. Gabe? You were a Soldier girl? <laughs> yes. You got it. It's not. Like, yeah, she had the Nicki Band. Soldier yeah, she was a Soldier girl. Soldier girl. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep it a buck. The corner store by me. Don't do no hot food. No. With EBT, with, uh, don't, <laughs> that means you're not sanctioned. That's why. I don't do... The store you by sanctioned? me... Yes. Bro, well, growing mm-hmm. up, hell yeah, the store used to give me the chopped you, chicken ha, color you on hot food. You been back to that food. store? I mean, thankfully, I don't 
have EBT anymore. Okay, well, Maybe. I mean, like, <laughs> you can still see the sign, though. Yeah, but the anyway. sign is there, but if they rock with you, they're going to let you slide with the hot Well, my food. corner store don't rock with me because they don't do no hot food with the EBT card, so I like a hot meal, so I'm going to go to dinner, catch some free social media game. True. Okay. Because if there's one thing about Soldier Boy, every year at some point, Soldier Boy has a moment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All so that social media game and kind of his come up in the industry with the internet, I would like to soak in some of that game, and I would like a hot meal, so I'm going to go. Okay. Yeah. I'm definitely doing the dinner. Yeah, dinner? Hands down. Yeah, I'm good. Only 250 in food. Yeah, yeah. 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 It kind of depends on the, the situation you in. But yeah. I think yeah. Take them to a $250 dinner. Like, what's I'm something? excited to hear Rob's <laughs> answer. Rob. Nah, nah, yeah. nah, I go to dinner with Soldier and Where's have you? him retell the story about when they broke into his house. Oh. And, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, just for the <laughs> conversation. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, man, let's so, jump to know. some of these comments. Indemar says, 500 k who cares about the celeb unless they're also giving me money? I need that bread. Shout out to you. Hold on, though. 250K once, you know, the IRS get they cut. You know, it's tax season. Yep. Mm. Nobody just going to give you 500K. Uh, and Uncle Sam chop- yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Real. that's really they gonna chop 60% cheese for real. of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Uma Thermos is back. They said they're picking that EBT, baby. Mm-hmm. Salute. Uh, Juhov, I want to say this name correctly. Juhova HSC says, I'm sitting down with Soldier Man. He is a legend. And Dead Mouse is back. They said 200 bucks in food stamps is more than a Happy Meal. So dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Dead Mouse is good That's with these crazy. comments. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Dead Mouse, shout out to you. Uh, I do want to say, though, if you guys remember, maybe I'm just old, but I remember, maybe inflation has something to do with this, but I remember when the debate was dinner with Jay-Z or 50K. Or 50K. Right. It used yeah. to be 50. Yeah, when the 50. hell did that other zero come on? Out. <laughs> because 50K felt inflation. like more of a realistic uh, yeah. ask. The, the internet is inflation. not a serious place. Inflation. inflation. Well, it, 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 inflation. I don't know. A 10X inflation is crazy. Yeah. But f- picking you dinner with anyone, right? <laughs> picking dinner with anyone over <laughs> half a million dollars is absurd. Yeah. Is there anyone that you guys, dead or alive, Bar, like, not family or anyone that we've lost, but, you know, celebrity-wise, that you would choose uh, the dinner over half a mil. Hold on, now that I got you. J. Cole. J. Cole. No, nigga, you- no. Are you kidding me? I'm taking the money. Look, there's... Half look, a ticket? I, not- I like people for their art. I ain't really trying to get to know mm. y'all. I'm not here to make friends. I just like the music because I'm a fan of art. That's it. All right. I think if I can get some bread, that's great. I can go live my life, do what I want to do. I'm not mm. really here for that. Okay. Says the soldier girl. Right. <laughs> Is there anyone that you that guys would different. choose the dinner with Hell no. over the nope. half a ticket? Hell no. Nope. Nobody. No. No. Dead or alive? I don't care the IRS take 50%. So even for two fifty, couldn't have yep. taken the two fifty. And, and you know, I actually met Cole several times and Uh-oh. had well, we were eating food in the area, and I was just so scared to talk to him because you know they say like never meet your your item. Your item. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, I'm just gonna just be a fly on the wall each time. <laughs> really? And I'm still gonna do it. Yeah. Saying, nah, Cole is cool. And I hear that, but I just, yeah. I'm just, yeah. Just whatever. All right, let's jump into the poll results. A hundred percent of people say that they're taking that bread. Yeah, that's a dumb. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. Fact. that's a dumb question. Like the yeah. internet, like like that is originating on Twitter, right? Yeah, 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 for uh, sure. Twitter is stupid. So bad. <laughs> so bad. Period. Bad. <laughs> Back to the comments. Dead Mouse said, "I'd go to dinner with Marshmallow, but he'd be dead." Oh, All right. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> is there a dead mouse marshmallow beef that we I, have? I, I'm not totally tapping into, into the, the EDM, EDM world. world, right? Yeah, yeah that's we, like we, we got to go live from the next ultra and find out. We'll, we'll do some segments. That's there, like children. the Meek Mill versus Drake or uh, EDM. Yeah, <laughs> marshmallow push it, dead push mouse. It T and Drake. <laughs> the Pusha T and Drake of our generation. Uh, Baguette baby one, so Cash is king, baby. Zero cool like that says I'll take the K the coal cash. They spelled coal K H O L. That must be there. Oh, coal's cash. <laughs> no. oh, oh, cash. cash. <laughs> if you would prefer to take coal's cash, like a credit, like a, a gift card from coal's. <laughs> That cold cash do come in it's handy. Cr- we don't even have coals in. I've never stepped foot in what? coals. Well, in there's coals in New York. Yeah, there's coals. Yeah. There's plenty of coals in New York. Plenty. Where the hell is there <laughs> coals? I've been to plenty of coals. <laughs> Maybe in one. Long Island. Yeah, 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 Long Island. There's in coals the boroughs, I've never been to a coal. There's got to be a yeah, coals in the boroughs. Maybe in Philly, I got coals. Yeah, we got coals. What are they even selling? That's why I'm gonna go shopping for coals. It's like a department store, right? Coals. It's like a higher end TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I guess you would kind of say. Yeah. Yeah. Coals cash instead is. It's like a JC Penny, but not attached to a mall. Right. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Jehovah is back. They said 500k versus anybody else, though. 
Zero Cool Like That says, I'll take Sears <laughs> Not a Sears. <laughs> okay. getting crazy. Yeah. All right, Sears don't even exist anymore. Now you're dragging like, it. <laughs> I'm going to 500K shopping spree at Circuit City this instead. This is why Soldier got mad. <laughs> this is crazy. At Radio Shack. <laughs> <laughs> Radio Shack. <laughs> right. Luke DeBoss 7 said, I would take the 500K, but I still would try to get a dinner with Kimberly Jones. Kimberly. All Lil right. Lil' Kim? Lil Kim? Lil Kim? I guess they, okay. they, mm -hmm. they would Kim. really want that dinner with Lil' Kim. I respect wow. it. Shout out to okay. Lil' Kim. Uh, man, that was fun. I enjoyed that segment, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, I enjoy. I would love to go to dinner with SZA, who is absolutely killing the game right now. Uh, SZA just wrapped up her tour in L.A. Some notable people were in attendance. Adele was there. Justin mm -hmm. Bieber was there. Uh, Cardi was at the show in New York. I mean, there were people stopping at the show uh, throughout. Did anybody here go to the SZA show? Anybody mm -hmm. catch it? Nah, I, I missed it. Tickets was tight to get. I ain't going to lie. Shout out my man oh. Punch. They, they had me on the list. I got sick the day. The day wow. Oh. wow. You ain't the call. I got, I got open? It was like Drake. I had to issue an apology and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond our control. Your sound man wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Could put that ticket into like four. Yeah, but it, it looked amazing. Nah, you know. I ain't know y'all like that back then. This oh, was a couple of weeks ago. Oh, wow. Damn. <laughs> Bro, a couple weeks ago. He said this Yo, was last night. Was third episode. <laughs> Rob played, but I'm going to let it go. Rob, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to forgive you on this one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, we have uh, a hot question for the audience, and that is, who do you guys want to give your flowers to? Women specifically, it is Women's History Month. Uh, who do y'all want to give flowers to? Being that it is Women's History Month, uh, check this out. Five of the top six albums on the Billboard 200 are by women. Mm -hmm. I love that. Uh, here's the list. Uh, number six, we got Twice. Five, we got Miley Cyrus. Four, SZA. Three, Taylor Swift. And two, is Carol G. That is incredible. Uh, five of the six on the top six. Five of the six. Five of the top women. six. Yeah, five of the top six. I'm <laughs> sorry. That's crazy. That's all good. We but man, it. that's incredible. It is. I feel like I don't know that that's ever happened before. Uh, maybe we'll fact check that to see. But uh, who do you guys think are women that are killing the game right now? Uh, without saying Ice Spice, Gabe. Anybody come to mind? I mean, there's a bunch, right? We spoke about Lotto earlier. Lola. Miami. Lola Brooke. Of course. I was going to answer your first statement about women who deserve flowers. Oh, we didn't get there yet. That's for the audience. Oh, we'll come oh, back oh, to that oh. in a second. Oh, okay. We'll come back to that. Who's What women are killing the game right now? Scissors obviously yeah, killing like it. All of them are killing it. Mm. It's, it's hard to really... That's why the Princess debate on the first episode, I'm like, can we really say? Everybody's really right. snapping. And I think um, right now we're just in a position of only time is going to tell. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yep. Rob, anyone come to mind? DJ Nyla Simone, DJ Diamond Cuts. Oh, you know what? He's trying to win me over, and it's working. He said, sorry I didn't get you out of the ticket. <laughs> yeah, I forgive you for the scissor thing. It's See. fine. <laughs> Man, let's, uh, yeah. let's, let's give you guys the chance while the commenters uh, figure out their answers. Uh, who do you guys want to give flowers to? It doesn't have to be musically. Just in general, what women in your lives y'all want to show some love to? All right, I got three music and then one personal. Let's hear them. Definitely got to give a shout-out to my mama, my best Mom friend. Mom Dukes. Favorite person on the planet. Well, you know, you and dad. Love you both. I'm sure y'all watching, so cool. Then also, um, as far as hip-hop, I definitely want to say Queen Latifah. I just feel like Queen Latifah is one of my favorite people in hip-hop just because how she's transcended hip-hop. Like, she did a jazz album. She got a production company. She puts out shows. Queen Latifah, top tier. And then last but not least, I got to give it to, oh, wait, Rhapsody. Because mm. she's the only female that's actually crafting, like, magic. She puts out perfect albums. Two classics. Shout out to Rhapsody. Love her. And then my last one is Angie Martinez because, Angie. you know, one, she's my OG. Me and Gabe's OG, yep. actually. You know, that's going to count for mine, too. <laughs> <laughs> and Angie, you know, the way she's reinventing herself with this podcast is right. nuts. I mean, I'm tapped in every Saturday with my wine, watching In Real Life, digging in deep with these stories from incredible people. Like, even the J Balvin one, you know, I'm not really into Latin right. culture like that. But she got me one to go listen to his music and tap in because I connected with him through the pod. So shout out to Angie Martinez. Phenomenal. I Top just three. seen Nyla Watts sitting there with the wine, watching the Derek Jeter episode, thinking about, damn, I really got to buy a Yankee fitted after this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, Diamond, anybody? Uh, uh, musically, I want to see Missy get more flowers. Mm -hmm. Missy Elliott get more flowers. Other than that, you know, same as not like my mom, my sister, my grandma. You know, those are like the women I love Damn to get bad. flowers. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rob, anybody? Um, my wife Melinda, cause she's watching. So I <laughs> well, if I get home, I you know I want to come home to so a happy home. Yeah, so yeah. Definitely, man. Definitely my wife. Um, on some just celebrity artists. Um, 
I shouted her out before, but definitely shout out Lady London, man. Just signed to Jeff Jazz. Um, I'm looking forward to that debut album. So. I am too, right. actually. I want to give some flowers to um everybody said their mom, so obviously my mom. I want to give my flowers to my mom, Angie, um, Honey German, um, Toby, who works with me at On the Radar, she deserves all the flowers for putting up with me every single day. <laughs> and, then industry, and then industry-wise, um, I want to give a big, uh, I want to give all the flowers, you know, Rob mentioned uh, a few of the ladies here in New York. I want to give a big uh, flowers to, like, London Hill, who just signed with Nicki Minaj, Connie Diamond, who got Move Out right now, mm-hmm. obviously Lola, um, Maya the Don got Telfy going crazy, and Dusty's out right now. They're going, she going crazy. I love Dusty. And then all the other up and coming, you know, female artists in New York, man. You know, the Shawnee Bonnies, the Kenzo Bees, like they really doing it. And, you know, just want to give them the flowers. Word. Yeah. All right, let's jump into some comments. Who did y'all give flowers to? Dead Mouse says Charlotte DeWitt and my mommy. Shout out to Mom Dukes. Uh, Baguette Baby says Miley, though. OG B Way Ray 84, I hope I said that right, says, I think I'm in love with SZA. You and so many other people out there. Word. Crispy Jack wants to give a shout out to their wife on a Chance the Rapper level. Big shout Aww. out. Aww. Damn, that is that. the highest that level. Shout out to your wife, man. <laughs> that is the highest level to shout out your lady is on a Chance the Rapper level. And then DJ Hannah Red, who is family here, says Foxy Brown. Oh, uh, mm. love, love Foxy. Foxy. Yeah. Giving yeah. Foxy Brown her flowers is very, very important. Uh, let's give some quick flowers to Glorilla, who's been killing it. But someone who she feels was not giving her her flowers was Money Man. Money Man just dropped a new record called Sweetie. And, uh, man, there was a line on that song that she was not feeling. The line says, skinny chick inside my DMs. She remind me of Glorilla. Glorilla wasn't feeling it. She took to Twitter and said, hey, guys, what song is this? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. I hate it. <laughs> uh, the question that we have to you guys in the comments is, is anything fair game if you're a rapper, male or female? Is anything fair game? We'll revisit that question in a second. But what do y'all feel about this Money Man reference? Do you feel like it could have been in better taste? Do you feel like we need to be more mindful of how male rappers are referencing women in, in music? What are we thinking? I feel like we've been beat up so much in, in hip hop that I'm being a little dramatic, but not really. Mm. But I feel like we've been beat up so much in hip hop that I feel like it's almost normal. Like, mm. like she, you signed up for this. Like, this is what it comes with. Because even like Biggie with the escape line and dreams, like mm-hmm. he'd rather fuck RuPaul than fuck them ugly ass escape bitches. Those are Biggie words, not mine. But it's like, you know, this has been going on since the '90s. So, sure. I think is it right? No, but that's the rules have been the rules. But I do think the rules could change. Yeah. Amen. It's rap. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when we start putting so many limitations on it, like, you kind of take the the raw essence out of rap music. You know what I mean? So, I feel like, I mean, it's just music. You know what I mean? It's, it's just music. And I feel like it shouldn't, you shouldn't have to, like, dumb it down or order it down to please anybody. So, you know, I Amen. do feel like women do get beat up, but it's rap. Yeah. yeah. Well, we have one rapper here at the table. Rob, I'm curious to feel uh, to hear what you feel. <laughs> yeah, I, w- I wouldn't do it. Um, <clears throat> it's funny in, in the freestyle I just did. I had a line that I said, "Oh, I'm better than all the women too." Mm. Originally, when I wrote it, it was I, I'm better than all the bitches too, and I changed that. I said, "Wait, I can't put that because I don't even speak like that." Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's having that kind of edit button. But that's just me, and that's what I chose to do. Right? Yeah. I think I think in rap. Rapper to rapper is fair game. And I, I, Glorilla more than holds her own. She sent the tweet before. You know, people always talk about Glorilla's body type. And I love how she just loves her own body. She she lives in her own skin and and and, and she flaunts herself and thinks she's sexy. And you can't tell her shit. Like, she'll, she'll, she has Instagrams or Twitter. She'll be like, nah, my ass is fat. I like, love hearing like, that. It, it, yeah. It's just how she feel about herself. And once Glow, I, I remember she tweeted, like, somebody was like, oh, I hate how they be bullying Glow. And she was like, yo, can't nobody bully me. Mm. Like, I'm not yeah. just going to sit here and be a victim. So you don't have to feel sorry for me. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so let Glow bar up. I think Glow versus Money Man, like, I think Glow might have the edge. Like, oh, we're talking no. about bars. Talk to so, so for me, male, female, like, if you a rap, it's fair game. Um, you know, you can't be in here. Rap is about being the best, so you can't be in here and be like, I'm the best, but don't diss me. Mm. Yeah, like, exactly. and, and right now, I think the women are barring up, and I think yeah. if these men keep pushing the line... We gonna get at them. Yeah, mm. and, and it's Talk gonna to be them. interesting and entertaining, so I'm here for it, man. I'm here for all the smoke. Glow, go get your get back. All right. Nice. Glow, we would love to see that. Somebody's phone is that's going That's Money off. Man on the line. Yeah, that's Money <laughs> Man. Ready. <laughs> to, Rob set that one up perfectly. Yeah, that was perfect. 
he was about to call in and have a verse right there on the spot. <laughs> no. Oh, but the poll results are in. Fifty uh, percent. Uh, is this an updated figure? Okay, mm. the numbers are changing as we go. Fifty percent of people say yes that anything is fair game in hip hop, and fifty percent say no. Even split. Interesting. Uh, comments. Pen Hoodie says anything is fair game. Just be willing to stand on it when criticism comes your way. Indemar says, I mean, morally, probably not, but isn't that the point of music to express yourselves? And we can't lie. We've had some amazing one-liners tearing up some people. LOL. That is absolutely a fact. Luke, the boss is back. And they say, I mean, it's fair game, but it's tacky. However, I am all for a female MC responding back. Rob, like you said, I would love to hear Glorilla come at Money Man. That would be special. Yeah. Yeah. Would it? Come that on. would be special. All right. Uh, well, that was our, our, our second. That was the penultimate segment. It's time for our very last segment. Uh, I like to think it's Gabe's favorite. So, as always, <laughs> we'll come to you last. Uh, Diamond, let's start with you. I'm just wondering, what is in your rotation? What have you been bumping? Uh, is there an artist? Is there a song? Is there an album? Yeah, definitely Lola Brooke. And definitely Ice Spice. Those are, like, two of my favorite right now. Okay. For sure, hands down. Yeah. Word. Nyla? Uh, for me, it's this artist out of Florida. Her name's Eye Candy, and the record's called Keep That Nigga. And she mm. flipped the booty call. Like, mm. booty call? Mm -hmm. Classic. So it, it's really dope. So shout out to Eye Candy. I love shout out Eye Candy. Or, Rob, what you got? I want to shout out um, Ashoka from Rockland County, New York. Um, he has a record with Femdot called Questions. Okay. Um, super dope. Just kind of reminds It's just like a nice, breezy, soulful single with, you know, good melody. And then, but there's bars in it too, just makes you think about life. And, mm, and that's where I'm that. at right now. So, Ashoka, A S H O K. I'm going to misspell it. A S H O K. They're going to put it on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're going to put it on the screen. <laughs> we'll Ashoka get somebody featuring Fem Dot questions. And Fem Dot Fire, too. We from Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Tough. Yeah, yeah, tough. yeah, yeah. Me, what's in my rotation? Uh, man, ever since we spoke about it last week, uh, I've been bumping that Die for You weekend in Ariana Grande way more than I should. I have. Probably been responsible for like five percent of the streams of that <laughs> song, bro. The white guy in, in the marketing room with the white <laughs> was like, yes, "Thank you, you we got him. You saved his job. We got his ass, and we got him to speak about it." Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> damn man, we doing bad. All right, Gabe, it's on you, man. What is in Gabe's rotation right now? Um, right now, um, I've been bumping La Tyler. You know what I'm saying? His new album, My Vision, comes out this Friday. Where's he? He's from Florida? Tallahassee, Florida. Tallahassee, Tallahassee Florida. Um, he got a new record out right now, Fat Racks with Babytron. Um, his new album comes out this Friday. He got uh, no cap on the album uh, amongst a few other people. Mm -hmm. And he's super young. I believe he's like maybe 16, 15, 16. But he's kind of created this new sound out of Florida. He's really been killing it. Um, and he's kind of like like Florida like Lil Bow Wow right now. Wow. That's that's how I'm like that's how I'm like looking at it. So he's super dope. He actually started making music on BandLab off his phone. Like his first big record was just a a record he recorded in the closet with the BandLab and like the the wired headphone mic. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So you really can make music off you know off your cell phone now. So shout out. Uh, what happened? No, I was gonna say you definitely got to play that tomorrow on Amazon Rotation Radio. Yes. Put me on. Yes. Yeah, tell us about your show, guys. Okay. Yeah. So tomorrow, uh, every Tuesdays and Thursdays, Rotation. Yeah. Radio on AMP. 12 to 2 p.m. Me and Gabe just go back and forth, share music, mm -hmm. talk about how we feel about it. What did we talk about this week? We talked about a lot. Oh, we talked about Dochi versus Lola Brooke with the fan bases. Oh, fan base, um, yeah. We had, a, we had a great conversation about Afrobeats. Um, what else did we talk? We talked about the Don't Play With It remix, of course. Some of our favorite DJs. Yep. Um, yeah, we just... Y'all have a good combo over mm -hmm. there. No, it's pretty fun, so make sure you guys definitely tap in, get the yeah. app. We there. Download that AMP app every Tuesdays and Thursdays, 12 2 p.m., me and Nalo. Yes. We live. Yes. Okay, we'll be back next week, but one of us is going on a little trip this weekend, Rob. Uh, where are you headed this weekend? Going to Raleigh, North Carolina, Dreamville Fest, you know, Usher headlining night number one. Yes. Um, Burner Boys performing also. That's going to be huge. Um, Night number yeah. two. We have J. Cole and Drake, Cole headlining. I want to see what that's like. I'm going to be there with Wayno and Gia Peppers from R&B Rotation. Um, and, and we're going to be interviewing artists. Um, I'm, I'm excited. I ain't going to lie, man. So, But I'm going to come back. I'm going to give y'all. I'm telling yeah, you please. What, what Cole had for lunch. We need some stories. You know <laughs> yeah, I'm saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm going to get, you know, all the tea. We're going to. You spilling it all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spilling Don't spill all the rest the of the tequila, man. Yeah. All right, well, make sure you guys <laughs> tune in. Yeah, spill the tea and the tequila. And the tequila. <laughs> we're going to spill the tequila. <laughs> make sure you guys tune in this weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Again, Rob is on live with Gia Peppers and Wayno. Both of them are family. Uh, that'll be at 2 p.m. Eastern time, so make sure you guys tap in. Some quick musical 
Uh, just to give you the bill, Saturday, the headliners Usher, like you said, Dirk Yo is performing, Ari Lennox, and City Girls. And then on Sunday, like you said, J. Cole and Drake, you also got Summer Walker, Glorilla, Mario, and Burner Boys. I'm going to ask Glow about that Money Man line. Yeah. We're going to bring it right back to you. I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah. Full circle moment. Yeah, we need yeah, that. Absolutely. I got you. We need that. Well, we'll be back here next Wednesday, uh, same time, same place, Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. You never know who's going to be in the comments. Big shout out to Dead Mouse. Uh, and everyone else who was vocal in the comments. Uh, we appreciate you guys, and uh, we'll be back next week. Thanks again to Diamond for being here. Anytime. We appreciate you, man. Anytime. All right, y'all. Y'all be safe. <laughs>